Hello everybody, welcome to Energy Beauty Reviews. Thanks for joining me for this review today, which is this from uh, Snaffling Pig Company. It's Twisted Tail. It's a 4.5% ABV pale ale. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about it really. <laughs> that well, I, I thought for a minute I had something else to say about this this, um, this actual beer and I, I don't at the moment. Uh, let's crack it open, let's get in the glass. It was part of a gift set, uh, part of a gift set a little while ago to be fair. Um, which is why that's poor, that's uh, probably a little bit before it's best before date. So I'll have a look at that and just let you know. So I like to keep everything fair. So gift set, so I've got the Snaffling Pig glass. Uh, best before, best before, best before looks like the 11th of, uh, so November last year. So there you go. I'm only a couple of months out, which isn't too bad. I apologise to the brewer. I always like to apologise to the brewer. Somebody's driving too fast. Uh, I always like to apologise to the brewer because uh, it's not fair. Um, drinking their stuff by, way uh, past its best before date, it's really not fair. Uh, that's poured uh, clear and I'm going to call that golden with a lovely small white head. It looks good. Um, Snaffle and Pig, by the way, they are a... Um, food and drinks brand um, they don't brew this I think last time I looked at this one reviewed in their other ones it was Renegade Brewery that if I remember rightly that, that brewed their stuff good brew in their own right to be fair um, yeah so that's the that's the uh, the colour let's uh, get a sniff to shall we oh that's citrusy Yeah, all I'm getting too far. I'm getting on there is a sweet citrus. Hmm, that smells actually just reminded me of something. Um, let's have a taste. Actually, chat, see, chat, shall we? Uh, cheers, everybody. I'm just wondering if I've got the brewer wrong on me. No, I can't have I know, uh, if I remember rightly, Belfield Brewery used to brew their stuff. It has got that um, Belfield, Belfield fingerprint on this one. Oh, I'm a good brewer. We've got another good brewer, but it just... Oh, this is brewed by Seb Brewing and Packaging down in Kent. So I don't know who Seb are. Maybe a research there needed. I think... I should really read cans sometimes before I do, do reviews, but I think sometimes it spoils it. It says Seb, I know it says Seb Brewing, but it has got that um, Belfield fingerprint, which is nice, like I said. Mm. Anyway, flavour wise, um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's sweet malt coming through, um, there's a little bit of um, citrus coming through. Nice bitterness at the back end. It's got that little, doesn't hang around a lot, but it's got a little, almost like a little piney bitterness. It's got a bit of a West Cove, West Coast IPA vibe going on, which is quite nice. It's okay. It's okay. You sometimes get reviewers that get a little bit sniffy about contract brewed beers but do you know what you know they'll talk about oh, they'll talk about all sorts of stuff out there um, but do you know what if it's a good beer it's a good beer if it's bad beer it's a bad beer it's not worth getting sniffy about the fact it's contract brewed and you don't really know who it is and blah 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 don't really care if it's a good beer I'll say so if it's not I'll say so um, but anyway, this is good it's, it's hoppy it's refreshing it's very easy drinking
If somebody offered me one of these, I wouldn't be upset. Do you know what? That's 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 not too bad. Like I said, um, it's citrusy. It's got a nice little bitterness to it. It is a very very smooth beer. Yeah, quite hoppy, crisp, refreshing. Yeah, do you know what? I like that enough to scale that seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten from Andy's Beer Reviews, where we are drinking tonight. Please enjoy it. Until the next review. Cheers, everybody.